Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to create fake bangs without actually getting your bangs cut. Um, the reason I decided to do this is because I had a lot of comments on my Beyonce video phone tutorial about my bangs and as you can tell, my bangs aren't cut. Um, I am going to actually get them cut but I wanted to do this video first to show you guys how to fake bangs. So all you really need is a hair elastic some bobby pins, whoops, some bobby pins, and either sort of like um, like a head scarf, like a wrap, or a hat. And I'm going to use the hat because I love hats, and this is the hat that I wore for that tutorial, just so you could see how it comes together. Now, my hair isn't straightened or anything, it's just kind of like au naturel. Um, so if you want to get like a little bit more of a PC look, you can use like a straightener. I'm just going to do it as is so you can see how you can get it done um, and then you could style it however you want. Basically what you start with is putting your hair up in a ponytail and just like a half pony so you can leave the bottom part down which actually is a little bit better for the effect so it looks like you have um, you know like you actually have your hair styled. Um, you're gonna need one of these kind of combs or like a fine tooth comb and like something to grab little bits and pieces and that's why I like this little, I don't know what they call this, rat tail comb or something. So um, you want to be able to get it pretty um, tight um, for the ponytail I should say. So just get it so all it's all flat, you know. Um, and then bring the ponytail up pretty high. Now how I kind of estimate is Okay, so this is going to work because once my hand's gone, I'm going to get a little bit more length. So I'm going to take my elastic and just kind of go at it. Now, um, obviously because the ponytail itself, woohoo, look at that peacock. Um, that looks insane, hey? <laughs> obviously because the ponytail is up really high, you're going to have a really high part in the back. That's why you need either a hat or a really nice kind of like head scarf where you can hide that because um, it doesn't look very good in the back. Uh, I didn't realize my hair had so much volume so you know what, I am going to pull up my straightener and we're going to straighten them so you can get the really nice end result. So let me heat up the straightener and I'll come right back. Alright, I'm back and I have my little straightener uh, heated up. Now this is just a cheapy like... 12 or 15 dollar straightener from Con Air, so I don't use a very expensive hair straightener. <laughs> Probably should get one, but you know what works works. So right? basically, I'm just gonna start um, straightening them, and I'm gonna kind of curve them in towards my forehead, so there's a slight little roundness. It's not just dark straight. If you like that look, go for it. But I kind of like the idea of it being a little bit more curved. So I'm just I'm doing it like really probably poorly, but whatever. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of keep going at this. Um, if you have like a, a straightening bomb, which actually I do, I'm going to grab it so that I get it nice and smooth. Alright, so I look like something really bad that came out of the 80s, but this is mac the macadamia straightening bomb from the body shop. Um, any kind of heat, heat protectant or whatever you want to use will work. And this is just to kind of like make it a little less frizzy at the ends because it is like the end of your hair. So that's where usually it looks a little bit more damaged and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to kind of coat the hair. And there we go. So that's good for now. Alright, and I'm just going to comb it a little bit again. Kind of evenly disperse it. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and straighten. <laughs> and... Some of it may, like if you have layers, will do this like pokey thing, but don't worry about it because that's what the bobby pins are for. And now that I'm straightening it, I see that the bangs are really like um, going to be very long. So what I'm going to do is just pull the ponytail back a little bit. And again, the bobby pins will help kind of fix that. So <laughs> I look crazy right now. Anyway, so just keep straightening until you get 
to kind of look the way you want it to. Okay, so um, I know I still look crazy, but this is where the styling part comes in. So I'm basically going to just pull the bangs again, and I'm going to take my bobby pins right up where the ponytail is, because this is going to help flatten them down a bit. going to start basically just pinning, like spread it out a little bit so it's a little bit even, and then just pin the top of the bangs, just like that. So you can see the bangs um, or the bobby pins are in here and they're just kind of sloppy, sloppily put in. However, the hair lens is really all that matters because this is going to be hidden, remember? Um, now I'm just going to fine tune kind of like the shape of the bangs. So I'm going to go in a little bit, bit by bit, and just kind of curve the bangs in a little bit more. That's good enough. You guys will get the gist. You just have to play with them however you want them to end up looking. Go like this. <laughs> Whatever. And then I'm going to put on my hat. Now this is going to be the part that makes it look real. Now, um, once the hat's on or your, you know, your scarf or whatever, then you kind of want to, to make it look a little bit more shapely, Go in with the end of your rat tail comb and just pull little pieces out like around the crown of your head to make it look like you've got a little bit more kind of layers happening. And don't be afraid to kind of mess up the top because again it's hidden. You can do this before you put the hat on but I like to do it with the hat on so I know kind of what it's going to look like. Just You can use like if you want you can hairspray them in place before you put your hat on and all that, but I'm just trying to do this quickly to show you. Alright, so that's pretty much what I did before. Um, <laughs> it's a little different, obviously, because I didn't really spend too much time fiddling with it, but this is a really easy way to get fake bangs or, you know, give yourself a fringe look without actually cutting your hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and um, that's it, I guess. Have a good day, guys. Bye.